Hey, good afternoon. I'm Allison Bigelow. I'm the author of Mining Language, Racial Thinking, Indigenous Knowledge, and Colonial Metallurgy in the Early Modern Iberian World. Um, my book seeks to tell a new kind of history about mining and metallurgy, one that centers the voices of scientific and technical agents uh, whose voices haven't always been heard in our archives and in our historiography. The book um, has four parts, gold, iron, copper, and silver. Sí, mamita, muchas gracias. Beginning with the moment of European invasion in 1492, and ending with the Enlightenment reception of some of the books that I study earlier. This kind of long arc from 1492 to the 1790s allows me to trace the incorporation and then denial of indigenous ways of knowing um, in what was one of the largest and certainly the most lucrative colonial scientific enterprises in the new world. Each part of the book takes place in a different world region, uh, the Caribbean, Indian subcontinent in Goa, La Florida, the Native South, and the Andes. Um, each part takes place in a slightly different historical moment as uh, I follow the pulse of European empires that prioritized and then um, rejected metals at different part points in their imperial history. And each part of the book um, focuses on a different metallic subject. And so that requires that I use different methods in each part. Um, for instance, in to tell the story of the silver industry uh, and the ways in which Quechua and Aymara speaking miners have contributed to the science of amalgamation um, in ways that we haven't yet studied, I look at the translation and mistranslation of Hispanized forms of Andean languages. Uh, and I trace the through a kind of colonial telephone, the um, incorporation and the mistranslation of um, epistemes uh, like Concho, which is derived from the Quechua conchu, uh, which means sediment. Instead of using eses or asientos, Spanish speakers would use this Hispanized form of Quechua, conchos, to describe the sediment that formed at the bottom of the metallurgical bin if they didn't incorporate mercury in two rounds. Si se, mamita, si se. Tu quieres leer este libro muy bien. In contrast, to tell the story of the gold industry in the Caribbean, we only have six full sentences of Taino languages. And so I had to use a completely different methodology uh, to unearth Taino knowledge systems that were recorded in the early uh, gold industry of the Caribbean. That for me was one of the exci most exciting, see si, mamita, the most exciting parts of the book was um, working with fragmented archival materials and trying to develop methods that would allow me to tell um, stories about the, the people who made imperial wealth possible. Um, what I hope that the book does uh, is encourage a similar kind of excitement for other scholars. I hope that the methods that I've developed in mining language will be useful to my colleagues in lots of different fields. Um, thanks so much for listening. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. Uh, bye.